Uh, I'm Tony. Jacob. Ryan. Rhea. Sean. Lawrence. Ashley. Pete. Gabriella. Did you know that 38% of all fraudulent activity occurs at small businesses with less than 100 employees, and the median loss is $200,000? This is a higher number than the median loss of $147,000 that occurs at companies with over 10,000 employees and can sometimes threaten the very existence of these small companies. If you take a look at the visual aid I've given you all, you can compare the median losses between the two companies. Today I'm here to convince you of the relevance of developing a system that guards against fraudulent activity. Some of you in here may own your own business, and many of you in here might hope to start your own company someday. Preventing a problem is always a better option rather than trying to recover from a situation that has already occurred. Implementing a system that guards against fraudulent activity will help to contribute towards a prevention policy. I've done some research regarding this topic and I hope you will find this information beneficial. Today I'm here to discuss with you the problem of fraudulent activity in the workplace, how a prevention system can help to solve this problem, and some of the benefits associated with an implement implementation of, of the system against fraudulent activity. Now take a look at me at some of the reasons behind a person's decision to steal. The problem is that people with low integrity and morals will find many reasons to participate in fraudulent activity. One of the main reasons is that there simply is nothing stopping them. There are many opportunities for employees out there to beat the system and get away with thievery. Mod Fashion Corporation, a perfect example, required their employees to submit receipts for reimbursement requests. These reimbursement receipts could include a credit card receipt, a bill for the meal, or a copy of the employee's monthly credit card statement. Employees at the company took advantage of this glitch in the system and were able to submit multiple claims for the same expense. The total take from the company totals $75,000. Another reason behind a person's decision to steal is the financial pressure that they are under. The, bur the burden of financial debt can be so strong for some that it causes them to take what is not theirs and to steal. Still others just simply desire to live a lifestyle that they simply cannot maintain on their current income level and salary. Lastly is the rationalization of one's actions to justify their fraud. If a person or employee feels that they deserve better pay, compensation, or promotion, and are passed over, it can sometimes lead them to take what is not theirs and steal. This person feels that they are being treated unfairly, and therefore they justify their fraud by excusing their actions in their own mind. Now that we've discussed the problem, let's take a look at the solution to this dilemma. The solution is for business owners and employees to implement some type of system that guards against theft and reduces the ability for an employee to steal. This solution should include an environment that makes clear to its employees its values and standards. In order, pre in order to prevent fraud, companies must first analyze the risks that are created. The risks that are created and how to counteract these risks by putting into place certain measures that guard against them. A periodic review of these measures will ensure that they are fulfilling their purpose. Some of the measures that can be put into place are one, ensuring that certain access is limited only to authorized personnel. Therefore, if there's any discrepancies, these personnel can be immediately identified and questioned. The use of physical controls is another measure that can, be used to, it, that can be used to guard against theft. Some examples of these are camera monitors, garment sensors, time cards, and alarm systems. A third measure that can be used is the completion of a thorough background check of its employees. Many employees have been fired from their previous job because of suspected fraudulent activity. Now let's look at a solution and some of the advantages that are associated with it. There are many benefits that are associated with the implementation of a system that guards against fraud. First, it reduces the 
probability of a small company having to go under because of its inability to recover from such devastating financial losses. And secondly, when funds are not being drained from the company, profits can be maximized, resulting in financial success for all those involved. Now let's conclude. Today we have discussed some of the reasons why people with low ethics choose to engage in fraudulent activity. How we can reduce the risk of these situations occurring by utilizing certain control features and some of the beneficial aspects produced as a result of this. Because all companies, and small companies in particular, are the backbone of our economy, let's do our best to keep them strong and always maintain an attitude and an integrity no matter what the situation. With this, we